Thumb and Atrium Man Lift Hazards to Watch Out For The top atrium man lift hazards are collapses, tip-overs, electrocutions, falls from elevations, being struck by falling objects, entanglement, and contact with other objects like ceilings. These hazards can put workers at risk of fatalities, accidents, injuries, and fatalities. Yet, with OSHA-approved Atrium Man Lift Certification Training, workers can limit the risk that any of these hazards can cause such issues to occur. Moreover, if your business employs construction workers who operate Atrium Man Lifts, they are consistently around them. In that case, they need to complete an OSHA-approved Man Lift Certification course. They will learn about the man lift hazards that cause deaths and injuries every year. What are the common atrium man lift hazards? Man lift hazards can be problematic at work sites of all sizes. Regardless of a worker's job title, it helps to be aware of the following hazards that affect operators of boom lifts and other types of atrium man lifts. Some of the common types of safety hazards in construction include Electrocutions. Many man lift operators are involved in overhead line work, and the risk of being electrocuted by live cables and power lines is a great one for these workers. To protect yourself and prevent getting injured or killed on the job, follow OSHA's tips. Tip overs or collapses. Tip overs are one of the deadly types of man lift hazards. They are frequently caused by handling and improper traveling of the lift. Sometimes they are caused by inadequate mechanical inspections and pre-start vehicles. Falls from heights. The sheer size of atrium man lifts off and goes unnoticed until employees begin working. When they are improperly trained, falls can occur. To prevent falls from lifts, workers need to assess their surroundings to ensure no objects or workers are nearby. With that being said, OSHA requires that all man lift workers wear fall protection equipment with full body lanyards and harnesses attached to the basket. Objects falling from lifts. Workers on the ground are at risk of area lift hazards, too. They're sometimes killed and injured by objects falling from the man lift bucket. It often occurs when lifts carry objects larger than the platform itself. If possible, atrium man lift operators should avoid positioning the lift underneath overhead objects, and workers on the ground should be aware of their surroundings. They need to avoid working underneath or near the lift when raised. Ejections from lift platform Ejections are one of the most dangerous types of man lift hazards. They often happen when a lift comes into contact with another object like a sign or moving vehicle next to a highway or inadequate stability assurance. Before operating an atrium lift, workers need to ensure that set on pads is on a level surface of solid ground. Entanglement Ropes can be tangled up when lowering or raising an atrium man lift platform. If entanglement occurs, an operator can get caught up in these ropes. It can put the operator at risk of a serious fatality or injury. Additionally, workers can avoid these common safety hazards in construction by staying mindful of all cords, wires, and ropes. For any pieces of safety equipment to be useful in preventing these atrium man lift accidents, workers need to complete comprehensive lift training to prepare them fully. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website https colon slash slash innovative reach.com slash or contact us at 319-573-3488.